when it comes to content creation for YouTube and social media platforms, it is so easy to feel overwhelmed and burnt out if you don't have a proper system and framework in place to help you properly create content effectively, efficiently, and consistently. So in this video, I'm going to share with you my five phase content batching process and how I utilize Notion to plan all of my content for multiple platforms in one centralized location. So if you're ready, Keep on watching. Hi friends, it's Larissa, aka Latch, the R E double -S, S A. Welcome back or welcome to the channel if you are new here. This is a place on the internet where I help fellow real estate brothers and sisters like yourself level up your contiguration, marketing, and branding game. And if you are a real estate agent looking to leverage, build, and scale your business with YouTube and modern social media strategies, then I am your girl and I want to partner with you. So scan this code over here to learn more about what that all entails and to book a private call with me. So in this video, we are talking about content batching and what that actually means because I feel like everybody throws that word out there and nobody really knows what that entails. So I spent two years on YouTube so far and I have created this five phase framework for myself so that I so that I can create content easily and efficiently and I utilize Notion to help me do all of this. So let's start off with my content creation framework, which I have put into five phases. So ideally, what we are doing is grouping all of the same like tasks into different phases. Now, in this case, I just have five. The first one is phase one, which is really just ideating and planning. Now, I spend most of my time, maybe 70 to 80% of my time in this phase, because quite literally, this will make your life so much easier. Really, phase two to phase five all sit on the shoulders of phase one, because when you properly plan and outline your videos, when you go to film and when you go to edit, it will be much more streamlined. So in this case, phase one, I just spend my time planning out my YouTube videos and planning out my short form content as my strategy for content is one long form content and then two pieces of short form content that I redistribute to both Instagram Reels, TikTok, and YouTube. So that's pretty much all that I do for content is just really all video content in this case. Now, once I'm done with phase one, and again, I spend maybe a couple hours or maybe a day or two, depending on the content that I want to create. Then once I do all that phase one, I move into phase two. Now I cannot move from phase one and into phase two unless phase one is done. So again, this is in chronological order, okay? Phase two is pretty self-explanatory. You, in this case for me, I like to choose a day out of the week where I don't have any meetings or any calls or any other admin, admin tasks that I have to do. I spend one day filming everything back to back. Now, if you didn't know, I batch film all of my content on one single day, but it doesn't look like it because I changed my shirt and I maybe might change my hair around a little bit, but that's phase two. And if you can, as I mentioned, if you can commit to one day out of the week to batch film your content, where you have no distractions, you're gonna thank yourself later. And really, when it comes to filming, it takes a lot of energy out of you. And um, by the end of the day, you really do not wanna deal with anybody. So that's my tip for me. Just choose a day or choose a session or a couple hours in the day where you can film your content back to back. Now, in this case, again, I film my YouTube videos and take my thumbnail pictures and film my short form videos. Now, if we go into phase three here, which is editing, depending on your experience with editing or if you have the money to outsource your editing, by all means. Many people edit or sorry, outsource to fiverr.com or Upwork here. But I mean, no shame in the game in the beginning if you, if you have the time to edit your videos. In this case for me, I film tutorial style videos so there really isn't much editing for me anyways. But again, this is also gonna be dependent on the style of content that you are creating. So that's phase three for me. And then phase four is graphics. In this case, this is for me, YouTube thumbnails and my YouTube promo post that is basically just a graphic that I post to YouTube community post and on Facebook and on Instagram to just let people know that I have a new video out that week. Now, again, if you are short on time or you don't have the skill set and you have the money to outsource, you can also outsource your thumbnail design to Fiverr and Upwork.com as well. And five, phase five is the last section here, which is basically SEO and scheduling. Now, in this case, I like to 
schedule everything in bulk essentially so for youtube i schedule all of my videos so i go into youtube studio and i put in all of the you know the tags the descriptions the titles i upload the thumbnail and then i just choose the time and date that i want this specific video to go live and to be public now when it comes to my short form videos for youtube shorts i can schedule them with YouTube Studio, but when it comes to Instagram and TikTok, I like to save them as drafts. So in this case, I just upload them to my profile. I put in the caption, I choose the cover image, and then on the day that I need to post it, I'll just go back in, choose a trending song to hopefully push it further into the algorithm and then just post it that way. But I do know some people already edit in the music that they want to use and then they just schedule it on Instagram or TikTok. But in this case, I like to just save it as a draft. Now that's basically my entire five phase framework that basically encompasses YouTube and both short form content as well. Now, let me show you my content planning dashboard again that I've created with Notion. Now, I actually do sell this exact template of my content planning dashboard that's available on my Etsy shop, but more on that in a second as I wanna show you how I utilize this dashboard. Now, essentially, if you're not familiar with Notion, Notion is basically a productivity and project management tool. And I found that many YouTubers were actually using Notion to plan their content. And I was like, hmm, maybe let's give that a try. Because initially, when I first started out on YouTube and creating content to begin with two to three years ago, I was just basically creating everything or planning everything out on Google Docs, which is which is great, but as, as time went on and I started to create content for multiple platforms, it was really hard to keep track of where everything was. So insert Notion here. Now, essentially Notion, you are basically creating a database of information and depending on the properties and filters and sorts that you have, you can create different um, dashboards and different views of the information here. And on this case, I have a full content calendar board. So if I click this open, I can see all of my content for all the platforms that I'm on in a calendar. And I can basically just click open to see what needs to be posted for that specific day. And on this case, this reel here was supposed to be posted on the 30th of August, but I, for, I didn't have the time to post that. So I moved it to the next day by just, you know, simply just clicking and dragging. So it moves to the next day. And then I, when I open it up, I can see that, okay, this is a Canva hat for realtors, which is magic animation. This is going out on Instagram and on YouTube. On YouTube, it was already scheduled, so it already went live. And in this case for Instagram and TikTok, it's saved as a draft. So I have to go in today and to post that. And once it's posted, I just go into here, I click on this and then I just post it. So I know that it's posted. In this case, it is not, not yet. And then here, Again, I have some just copy of the description and the text. And then just, you know, if I, when I'm creating different short form reels, I do have a breakdown of the video. So I have a proper flow of it all. So that is basically one content card. In this case, what I love my content dashboard for is mainly for my YouTube planning. So I'm just going to close this out here. So I've created just a, se a separate section for my YouTube planning. So if I open up this toggle, I have it in different views. So I have this in calendar, I have a board view and I have video ideas and then posted and then unlisted videos. So that way I can keep track of where everything is. But mostly I spend most of my time in the board view, which is known as a Kanban style board. And essentially when it comes to Notion, you have these cards or pages essentially. And if we open them up, it's gonna open up your entire page here. In this case for YouTube, I've created my own template that I can go through and basically this is all I fill out in phase one, which is the planning. So I go through title ideas. I think of different titles. I only had one in this case, <laughs> thumbnail ideas. And then in phase two, I have a filming checklist. So I make sure that there are certain things that I have to turn on to my com for my computer and turn off in my surroundings so that I have the most optimal filming setup as well. And then I have some best practices just, you know, for editing so I keep this in mind and then phase four phase three in this case um, three and four is my graphic design graphic prep again thumbnail promo post and then I have a five phase five which is a scheduling content so this is pre and post launch prep as well that I've created a checklist just for myself because I mean at the end of the day I'm not going to remember all this so this is why I've basically created a template and checklist for myself so that for every piece of content it is going through the same workflow all right so really when it comes to this section here, I'm just gonna 
open this up here. When it comes to my phase one, again, I'm in the planning and ideation. So when it comes to my tutorial content, I have a design breakdown of essentially what needs to happen in the tutorial so that my viewers can follow it from A to Z and get the final result. And then I just save the draft of the design here and then the final draft from the tutorial so I can keep track of, of everything as well. Now, in this case for bullet outline, uh, I mainly just do this for my talking head portion. So I have, you know, an intro and a hook and then, you know, proper outlines for my outro and CTA so that I can tell people to, if they like this video, they can watch this other video that is similar in nature to the one they're watching right now. So I keep that in mind. And then here for the phase five, which is the SEO and scheduling portion, I have a checklist for YouTube. So you want to go through title, tags, description, thumbnails, and in this order. So I have this checklist for me when I'm going through the YouTube studio so that I am properly optimizing my video. Now, in this case, when it comes to YouTube, I do my keyword research first. I use keywords everywhere, which is a paid extension. And um, essentially I just go in, I just look up on YouTube or on Google, the video that I want to do. And I basically take screenshots of the tags and I essentially look at, you know, the search volume of that specific keyword or key phrase. And then from here, I just take these keywords and phrases and I essentially just put together a description of the video here. Obviously, once the video is edited, I have timestamps in here after. And then if I have mentioned videos in the tutorial, I make sure to put the timestamp there. And of course, I put a link in here so I know when I'm going through this, I'll put this in the description and I'll also put it as a card to use and an end screen in this case would be a different tutorial that I would push viewers to if they liked the current video that they're watching. And then I also have a section for the pinned comment so that I can make sure that I can capture some, some more um, people or convert in that case. If you know you're sending people to a specific landing page or a call to action or whatever that is relevant to the video as well. So that's pretty much it for my YouTube section here. And then also in phase five, I also have a copy for distribution. Again, for me, I am an agent with eXp Realty and we get KB Core for free. And I use that platform to essentially do my mass emails. So in this case, I just have, you know, a few different subject lines to see what might strike the best interest to be, you know, clickable. And then I have the copy for my email here. And then I have underneath here, which is promo captions again, as mentioned, I create a static graphic to post to my YouTube community and Instagram and Facebook. And then this is also linked to another card on my calendar here. So if we click this open, I've linked it to another card on the calendar. So I know that this is again, going out to these platforms as well. So I'll show you what that looks like on my calendar. So again, as mentioned, I have the full monthly calendar. So if we go, this video comes out on September 4th. If I go to September 4th, let's do this scoot over here, September 4th, we have that video, that YouTube video. If it will click open that YouTube video and that YouTube promo post on the same day. And once this, this is posted, all I have to do is just change the ID status from scheduled to posted. And I know that I am good to go for content for that day. So for me, I post mainly on Mondays for my YouTube videos. And then for short form, I post on Wednesday and Friday. So that's basically what my content looks like in a given week. And again, as mentioned, everything is all on this one dashboard. So when I'm when I'm looking at specific days, I know exactly what has to go out. Now, one thing I do want to note here is that I have, again, another section for YouTube or sorry, for Instagram and for TikTok. Now, Instagram is also the same setup in terms of views. I have calendar, board view, reels, idea, and then idea vault and things like that. So again, this is the calendar of all my content. We can click open all of these, but these ones are in planning right now. But basically that's what I do. I create different pages. So if I wanted to create, let's say for September 14th, if I wanted to create a reel or a post, I would just click this open. And then I have some templates that I've made for myself already. So let's say that this was a Canva hack for realtors. I already have a framework already done. So if I, it's just going to load. And essentially I would just go in here and put in the captions for that specific platform, create the breakdown of that script so that I have a proper flow. And then I would just put this from idea vault into planning or into filming. And that's how I would know that this is a piece of content that is already in the works. So in this case, if I don't need it, I just right click with my mouse and delete it. And essentially, again, if I go to board view, I can see all of my content in its 
specific timeline or workflow, if you will. Now, one thing to know here for my short form content, I basically create reels for Instagram and then repurpose it to YouTube shorts and to TikTok. Now you'll see here, I have this little toggle here that says repurpose to TikTok. Now in this case, this is basically linked to my other calendar down here, which is TikTok. And in this case, I just have a board view, but let me show you something that's really cool about this. So if I were to click here, let's just say editing new, for example, if I just open this up and I choose data published, let's say the 31st, and I have a different day for TikTok. So let's see here, TikTok, let's say it's going to be the first. If I click out of here, I have to make sure that I repurpose this to TikTok. And so the platform would be Instagram. So make sure that that is put on. And so if I click out of here, I'll see here, August 31st. And if I go down to here and I go into my calendar, we can see here I have new. And the reason why I didn't show up in my Kanban board is because I didn't select the status of the, the TikTok here. So essentially I would have to choose, if I go down here, open up more, the TikTok status, let's say it's in idea, uh, we'll go edited. And then I click out of here. If I go back into my board view, I can see that it's here, right? But if I were to, this is such a long, a long, I have so many videos in the planning section. So let's say if I did not click this repurpose here, if I click this off, it would basically be gone. So there's a relation between the YouTube, the Instagram and TikTok cards. So again, if I click this on, I click it on, didn't open it and I click out of here it would reappear again. So that's basically how I create content for multiple platforms. And on this case, I just basically want what's being posted to Instagram to be mirrored onto my TikTok board, but I can see that if I wanna post it on a different day, I can. So that is my content planning dashboard in a nutshell. For me, I mainly just sit on YouTube and Instagram, but if you have multiple platforms that you are on, you can also create different uh, dashboards for that as well. Now, as mentioned, again, I do sell this on my Etsy shop and I've created a mini course here that basically shows you in depth how to use this dashboard, how to edit it and how to customize it for your own needs. So that's all internal to this dashboard. If you do decide to support my work and purchase this for your own content creation uh, journey. So if you want to see a more in depth of how I utilize this and a more in-depth demo of this specific content creation dashboard, you can watch the card linked in the cards above and in the description box down below. It is pretty much the exact, no, it is the exact content dashboard that I personally use in my own content creation planning system. So content creation, full planner here, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. I also show you how to create your own new one as well. And then, then again, I do in include some bonus templates here. So I have my YouTube banner, YouTube thumbnail and YouTube promo post that I keep talking about, but didn't show you. This is that YouTube promo post of just telling people that I have a new video on my YouTube channel. So that is pretty much it in a nutshell as to how I plan all of my content, how I batch, plan and create all of my content in different phases and how I utilize Notion to plan all my content for multiple platforms in one centralized location. So that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you are still here, please comment down below hashtag and crew. So I know that you stay to the very end of the video and that you are a real one. And if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. But if you are interested in learning more about what my studio actually looks like and what I use to film my tutorial style content, then I highly recommend you check out this video right over here. And if you are ready, get ready to click in three, two, one.